What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome here today to my final tier list video for the 2021-2022 season. We have done every single position so far after today. And yes, we're obviously going to be doing centers. And then also another glaring obvious is why are you in Excel, Matt? Well, I couldn't find a 2022 center starting tier list I liked. So I decided to just make my own. I'm already just throwing all these players into a pool in Excel. And I'm going to be ranking them uh, in the same things or in the same format that we did. The shooting guard, small forward, and power forward in increments of five. So yeah, instead of like going through a tier list that was like based off 2020 and then saying, oh, like, I know this is DeMarcus Cousins, but this is supposed to be Anthony Davis. So, like, yeah, I went to each team's depth chart, too. And, like, Anthony Davis is the Lakers starting center. Christian Wood starting center. They had Tice at the four at, like, ESPN.com. So, that's what I'm literally basing this off of is what ESPN.com ESPN and some of the team websites have. So, if you guys do enjoy these, drop a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the tier list kind of episodes or just videos, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. And remember, this is just my subjective opinion. And centers are weird. Centers are always the last ones. And I, I don't know. So, to start off, uh, top five. Okay. So, it's Embiid or Jokic, right? That's number one and number two. I'm going to say, I personally like Embiid better but I'm going to say it's Nikola Jokic just because he won the MVP last year. And I'm going to give him that respect because he is the reigning MVP. Which means Joel Embiid will be too. So what I'm going to do right now is just... We're going to like to like remove the names, right? I have it base and division. I'm just going to highlight it. So uh, if I use them, they're just going to get a nice red out. So where's Nikola Jokic? There he is. So number three, if Anthony Davis is listed as the center of Tim... Now, I think he's more of a four because he's always been a power forward in this league. But it's looking like this year he's going to be playing the five mainly for the LA Lakers. So he's going to come in at number three. Um, wow, I messed that one up. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I apologize. For some reason, I decided to start at side two. Okay, so that was annoying, but here we go. So four and five, basically the last two spots. Who are they going to be? All right, is it because it's coming down between probably Bam, Cat, and Gobert. Who, oh, they're really going to make me have to, like, remove one of them. They're really going to have to make me remove one of them. Mm, four, do I gotta get, do I go Rudy Gobert? Personally, no. I'm going to do this. Bam's four. I like Bam. Because he gives you offense, which Carl, the, or excuse me, which Rudy Gobert doesn't really give you too much of. And he gives you defense, which Carl Anthony Towns doesn't give you too much of. And then I'm going to go Carl Anthony Towns, which means I'm going to have a player that has won three defensive player of the years and is the reigning one. As the sixth best center in the league with Anthony Davis there. He would be five, but yeah, maybe that's a little bit disrespectful to Gobert. But when it comes down to it, in the playoffs, who do I want on my team? I prefer Bam and Cat, even though Gobert has more playoff experience than both of them. But Bam does have more finals experience. So we're just going to get rid of these guys right now. So now who comes next after Gobert? Is it Valanchunas? No. Is it Vucevic? Maybe. Is it DeAndre Aiden? Possibly. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Nikola Vucevic and then DeAndre Aiden. I like that. Uh, I would like to see another year of like a really good year out of DeAndre Aiden before I put him up any higher. But yeah, he would be listed as the eighth best center in the league on this. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So let me just kind of mark them off so I know they're gone. And then next up, who had a very good season last year... And has definitely been worth his contract and got a new one. It's Clint Capella. I think he's going to come in at number nine for me. And then at 10, it's between Miles Turner, uh, Jonas Valanciunas, and Christian Wood. Which is a little bit tough, for being honest. Who do I want to put at that final spot? And I decided to cross out Daniel Gafford, which is just annoying on my part. Yeah, it's the perks of using Excel, right? And not the tier list maker. So who's going to get that last spot? Does it go to Miles Turner? Does it go to... Christian Wood, or does it go to Jonas Valanciunas? Out of all those players right now, I got to give it to Miles Turner. He's been good probably the longest or the best peak. Gives you elite run protection, can space the floor somewhat. Um, and then I'm going to start it off with Jonas Valanciunas on the next tier, who is very underrated, very. And then Christian Wood. would like to see another good year out of him. Uh, last year was his probably first good year. He was kind of all right the year prior, but... Yeah, I'd like to see one more good year out of him before I put him into that top 10. So, yeah, this is 11 and 12. Who would be 13? Hmm. It's 
Steven Adams, oh, the center, like not a lot of good centers. Not a lot of great centers. I'm looking at Brooke Lopez and I might give it to Brooke because he'll shoot, give you ring protect. I, no, I guess it's Yusuf Nurkic, even though I'm not a big Yusuf Nurkic fan. And I actually put him on my five players I hate list. He's going to go there. So we got Nurkic out of the way. I like Time Lord a lot, but I'm going to give it to the veteran. Yeah, I'm going to go Brooke Lopez here. Um, and then I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go Rashawn Holmes. Yeah, I like Rashawn Holmes a lot. He's going to get that 15th spot. So boom, there we go. Um, do I know who's going to be last on this list? That would make things easier. That would make things a lot easier. Um, is it Ken Birch? Is it Jakob Pertl? No. Is it Dwight Powell? Is it Daniel Gafford? I don't know. Mason Plumley. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. So I actually have 15 names left. Interesting. So who would be next? 16. It would probably be between Zubots, Steven Adams, Mitchell Robinson, Robert Williams. Oh no, Jared Allen, Matt. I'm forgetting about Jared Allen. No, I'm going to put Jared Allen. Wow, I completely forgot about Jared Allen. Okay, so now this is where I got to reorganize this. All right, I'm actually going to change it around a little bit. So I threw Allen at 16, but you could, like, if they're in any tier, like the tier list, you can kind of change them around. Uh, so if you think Allen should maybe be replaced with Miles Turner, then drop everybody down. That is fine with me. Hmm. Now, this is tough. I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go Mitchell Robinson next. Yeah, uh, if he stays healthy, which is a big if this year because he gets hurt every year. Um, yeah, I guess Nicholas Claxton, we, I, it's, let me just double check who the starting center for the Nets is. So ESPN's depth chart at the moment has LaMarcus Aldridge as the center. Okay, so it is not Nicholas Claxton, it is LaMarcus Aldridge, who I don't even know. Like, coming out of retirement, I mean, he only retired for half a season, but still, Robert Williams is pretty good. I like Robert Williams a lot. I'm going to put Robert Williams next. And then I'm going to put, I think, Evita Zubats after. Um, and then Steven Adams, who has definitely fallen off, but is still all right. He's just overpaid, I guess. Uh, and then Yaka Perto is kind of underrated. Um, I got Robert Williams. And then I got Zubats. And then anybody else I do? Okay, so Isaiah Stewart's also pretty good as a rookie. Like, he had a better rookie year than James Wiseman did. So that's going to warrant him to go above him. I'm going to probably have... Now, I'm probably going to have Wendell Carter in front of him. Yeah. And then we're going to go... Hmm. Do I go Isaiah Stewart? Or do I go Favors? Do I go Pirtle? Uh, I'm going to go Isaiah Stewart. Um, and then I'm going to go... Let me see. Ken Burch is also, like, not bad either. Um, let me cross off Wendell Carter. And then... Do I go Wiseman? Maybe I'm being too mean to Wiseman? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Derek Favors was good like two years ago. I don't know. Last year wasn't a great year for Derek Favors. Neither was it for Mason Paul. Mm -hmm. Daniel Gafford, though. Cam Birch. This is tough. Do I go Wiseman or Pirtle? Oh, man. This is really tough. Like, who do I give the worst starting center spot in the league to? Do I give it to Aldridge just because he's lost a step on defense? I mean, yeah, he probably wants to stop on offense and he's coming out of retirement. I think just all those red flags got to put him last. Um, all right, so Aldridge is going to be last. I think Wiseman is going to go like right. You know, I'll go Wiseman and then I'm going to go Jakob Pertl. Maybe I'm being too mean to Kemp Birch. I don't know. Um, then we're going to go Jakob Pertl. So we can cross out Wiseman. We can cross out Jakob Pertl, which means I got four names left. Even though I should have five. I got five names left. Plumley, Gafford, Birch, Favors, and Powell. I think... I think... I think Ken Birch is kind of underrated. I'm going to go Ken Birch. And then I'm going to go Mason Plumley. And then I'm going to go Dwight Powell. Ugh, maybe I'm just being so mean to Derek Favors and Daniel Gafford. But this is how it's going to look. This is going to be my center tier list. I don't know. It's weird. Centers are weird, man. Centers are weird this year. So that is going to be it. Let me let me figure out if I want to change anything around real quick in the top. So top five, I'm fine with. Gobert at six, I guess, is a little harsh. Maybe like Jared Allen might be a little low. But I, I think like everybody's in the tiers that I want them to be in. Is Brooke Lopez too high? He might be too high. Is Robert Williams too low? Maybe I got to switch. You know what? Let me, uh, let me swap Robert Williams and... Brooke Lopez, actually. 
Okay. And then we got Zubats, Adams, Carter Jr., Stewart, Wiseman, Pirtle, Birch with Palmway, uh, Dwight Powell, which I spelled the last name wrong. Uh, Daniel Gafford, Derek Favors, and Marcus Aldridge dropping it out. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Drop a like if you did enjoy it. Yeah, please let me know what you agree with, disagree with, because, like, I don't really feel too confident with this list. It's weird, but I don't know how else I would arrange it. So, let me know down below what you guys think. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.